this has to be one of the most enjoyable ways lately I've been enjoying photography out on the bike camera strap that was just out exploring so that's what we're going to do with the day just so going to head out nowhere in particular I'm looking for elements to use in my background images for my composite photography so we're going to head out and see what we can find you guys can come along for the journey see where we get to and see what kind of images we'll capture today I'll be shooting with the Nikon Z50 with a 50 to lens on um, I've left the full frame in the house because I'm just going light and being on the bike and then I can hit pretty much head anywhere with that setup. So let's go and see what we can capture. These things will be pretty cool in the picture. Nothing spectacular but elements all the same. Clouds are looking pretty awesome this year. Lots of definition in the sky. Loads of puddles as well. And get dirty the day, but it's part of the fun. It's a nice horse, pretty cool in the air. Uh, in an image, seems to like each photograph getting taken. I think we'll head down the river. So this has to be one of the most enjoyable ways to get out on an e-bike. If you haven't already seen my review of the bike I'm riding at the present, I'll pop a link to a card above you and go and check that out. Highly recommend people giving it a go, which is great one. It's a fantastic way to see the uh, the environment around one. Also good fun, really good fun. So you're going to have a good photographing day, you're going to have a good riding day. These colours are awesome. Love the riverside. Koreans look awesome. The scenery just looks fantastic over here. Money were more available. Stop this side. What? This is the bike, by the way. This is the Trek Power Fly 4. More horses. There you go. There you go. There you go. Nice little horse. Let's see what else we can find. Like I say, I'm not for anything in particular. This is one of the most enjoyable ways to enjoy photography, I find. I'm literally just looking for elements to use in my photography, mainly my composite images. And it can really be anything, skylines, anything that kind of, I've seen, I think, oh, that's going to look good in the image. I always take loads of shots, lots of different angles because you just never know what you're going to use in the image. Alright. Alright, you alright? Put your head on the bob wire. Oh, that's a good shot. Look. Korean. Standing all by itself. These images won't blow you away guys, but hopefully you'll be enjoying the day with me as I'm enjoying it, because it's absolutely fantastic. 
Nice and crisp, fresh. Not many people about. And that appears as clear as quite. So I'm never safe. Even these big buildings here. They make for great backdrops. Piece them all together. Put them on a lower bit. Perfect. Got one of that big crane by itself again. Just looking amazing, isn't it? Nice angle of that crane. Oh, right, look at that little fishing boat there. It's a stick. All weather beaten. There's a boat coming in the river, making some waves. I think we'll get a, get a shot of that. Well, you can see it. I think when it comes up with this building here, yeah, I'll make for a nice, nice shot of it. So every time you look back over. The sun's behind you, it just looks lovely all back there. Let's see if we can get a shot of this coming down. It's coming in just now. So let's see what we can get. we go again. That's a bit distracting, my arms keep going over the camera. That's because I've got the clip on this side and I think I might move it to this side. So I can just grab it with this hand. It's not interfering what you are saying. These dry lock docks look pretty awesome so that's the Newcastle side. Let's see how we get a shot of that. Not much else. It's starting to rain, it was forecast. I thought I was going to get a little bit more time than this, but it's probably time to head back. I think you know, clouds are looking the best. Oh, they look cool. I like it over there was. I like these, these for a backdrop, they would look pretty cool. So, 
There we go. For Skyline. You guys are interested to see where I'll be using these. Maybe worth you subscribing to the channel for future reference because I'll be using a lot of these in composites coming up in the future. So they maybe look like not much now, but when I put all the elements together, they should look pretty, pretty awesome. Colours are cool as well, I like them. Let's see what else is there. Further down the road, before the heavens completely open. That'll make a good element. I'll get a picture of that. Right, let's get a picture of this, aren't we, Ivan? And the low. Okay. Obviously this type of photography is not what I would class real photography for because I'm just going around collecting elements to use in images, things that I think will look cool. Um, there's obviously there's no elements of composition or nothing, it's literally just looking at an element and photographing it. In the hope that it's going to look fantastic in a future image. Nine times out of ten to do, will always work in. Um, so yeah, it's not really photography in terms of capturing an amazing image in one shot. This is about building an image or building lots of images for the future. I think I'm going to turn around and head back because them clouds are looking really dark. The forecast has been pretty spot on the day and it's due to rain about four o'clock, half four. So it's going to take me about an hour to get back. And I only get back drenched with all my gear. So I've brought the kit lens out the day and then it on Z50 and they're not fully weather sealed and they're tooked on my chest on my bag so I'll find a different route on the way back see if I can capture some more shots whilst I'll return them home see what I can get but so far it's been a really enjoyable ride out if anything else so let's see what we can see on the way back One of the great things about being on a bike is that you can really get round quickly. You can cover lots of ground in a very short space of time. Actually, right over there, let's follow the sun. Let's get away from this rain cloud. Head towards the sun, the sun's coming out. Still spitting on a bit of rain, but whoop, cap's gone. Get me cap. I lose my cap. Stick that on tighter. So anybody who hasn't tried composite photography, I would highly recommend giving it a go. I know a lot of us when we're out with the cameras just walking about just enjoying the, the time out, which is what photography gives us, it allows us to get out of the house and enjoy the environment around us. We don't necessarily go out with a, a shot in mind, we just go out to explore. So like I say, when I'm normally out exploring, I'm just, if I see a shot, I'll grab that shot, but normally I'll just pick shots of lots of different elements Things I think might work, they might not. They might work, they might not work. But most of the times they do. And it's just a really good way of building an image. And a really good way of making the most of the time when you're out as well. A lot of photography can't be spoiled sometimes by wanting to get out and get a great shot. And when that doesn't happen, it'd be rather disappointing you feel like your day has been wasted, but really that's not the case. You've been out, you're out in fresh air. And you're out enjoying the environment. And really that's what it's all about. Must be on the tail end of this cloud now, like it's just spitting a bit. As you can see, hitting the sun. Gotta love a little bit of backlight. Oh, it's getting heavier now. Getting really heavy. Let's see if we can get a bit of cover. Oh. 
telegraph poles always look good in shots as well. I like those. Grab a couple of them. Oh, I just got that in. That's good. 